Hey couples, it's Brian and Tracy again, and we're on marriage principle number two. Last week we talked about the first principle, which is all about love. Mm -hmm. And today, Tracy, what are we talking about? We're talking about trust. Very important to a healthy marriage. Yeah. Trust is earned, not freely given, is the principle. Yeah, so the principle here, and this is great for all couples, whether you're uh, just getting married and using this in your premarital uh, counseling and mentoring, mm-hmm. or whether you've been married a long time, I think you would know that this is true, that trust is something that you have to earn. Yes. You can't freely dole out uh, trust. Right. right? So, yeah, trust is a reactive response. So this is important because yeah. I think this happens with a lot of couples. We hear this in marriage counseling a lot. Um, you know, one spouse will just say, just trust me. Why mm-hmm. don't you trust me? Mm-hmm. Well, really the right question to ask is, well, what are you doing to earn your spouse's trust, Mm -hmm. right? You're going to earn trust and I'm going to give you trust as I see you being a trustworthy person. Mm -hmm. So when both people understand that in marriage that you're earning trust every day, every word you speak, every action you take Mm -hmm. is either making a deposit in a trust account or if you're not earning trust and you're making withdrawals, as we know with our own bank accounts and money, you start making too many withdrawals, you don't have anything left. Yeah, and it seems like earning trust is kind of boring because it's just kind of mm-hmm. day in and day out, just being a trustworthy person. Yeah. But uh, sort of failing to earn trust or actually pulling trust away is when you make a colossal mistake, and it happens for many couples. Yeah. Maybe it's not colossal, but you make some sort of a mistake mm-hmm. and you recognize, you, you know, you, did, you, you made the wrong choice. And now all those months, weeks or months or years of building up trust. Right. And just like that in one moment, it can all be lost, right? Mm -hmm. Taken away. But that's the idea. If you really want to have a healthy marriage, then you look at it as a lifelong journey where you're constantly earning trust with one another every day. I mean, on the little things and on the big things so that when those bigger mistakes come along, it doesn't totally have to deplete the account. You can come together and say, I made a mistake. I got off course. Uh, but I want to get back on course. What can I do to start earning your trust back? And then you just start to build over time. Again, kind of like our bank account. You got to start somewhere. Yeah. And over time, you'll have enough money in there to start spending on other things. Yeah. So there are three characteristics of trust. I want you to consider these, talk about these three things in your own relationship, mm-hmm. in your own life. The first one you've already mentioned is it's reactive. Correct. Right? Trust is reactive. It's not proactive. So couples, I challenge you, if you find yourself sort of reacting in a way where you don't trust your spouse. Um, Now, maybe it could be that you're paranoid, but what we found is more often than not, it's because your spouse isn't earning trust. Mm -hmm. And so what that means is each person, husband and wife, you need to think, listen, am I earning trust? Am I earning trust? Because if my spouse is reacting me in a way that shows that they don't trust me, I'm not going to point fingers at them. I'm going to say, hey, What do I need to do to earn your trust? Because I recognize that trust is reactive. Mm -hmm. Tracy, what's the second principle? Well, I think the other thing is that trust takes time. It takes time to build that up. And so you have to be patient in your marriage. And so obviously in our marriage uh, in year one, we had a a level of trust. But now in year 20, we have much, much more because we've had a lot of time to build up trust with one another and to see each other in different phases of life and chapters of life and situations. So trust is going to take time, especially when trust has been broken. You have to be patient to let your spouse kind of start afresh, start anew. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think then the last thing about trust is that trust is measurable. And what that means is that that you can point to things in your life, and this is actually a good exercise to do, is to say, here are the areas in your life where I trust you in this and this. And Mm -hmm. like in our example, you didn't often trust that I would sort of pay attention to time Mm -hmm. when when I'm out hanging out with my buddies or whatever, and it's because I didn't earn trust. So I had to, we had to recognize, wait, we could measure this and, and I had to get better. We were able to sort of pinpoint it and I had to get better at that. So remember that trust is measurable. Right. So you can measure, you know, those different areas and say, you, you're doing better. I encourage you to do this. You're doing better in this area. I really appreciate that you've earned my right. trust in this area because you really need to talk about this. Well, right. Or it's all going to, we're just going to be sort of. Right. It, you don't want to talk about trust in theory. Mm-hmm. If it's measurable, then that means you need to earn my trust in terms of time management. And here's what I mean by that. I would love a text if you're running late. I would love for you to set a reminder in your phone 10 minutes before you're supposed to be somewhere. Right. And then, and then we can both look at that and it's very clear. Did you do it? Did you not do it? Mm -hmm. So both of us are on the same page. So it's not some, um, 
you know, throwing darts at a board you can't see. Mm -hmm. It's a measurable thing. Like tell your spouse exactly what you would need to see from them for them to earn your trust. Yeah. And I could just see some men out there, maybe women too, but some men out there probably just being like, are you kidding me? You want me to do that for my spouse? Well, if you love your spouse, then yeah, mm -hmm. you'll do it for your spouse. Well, it'll make your marriage a lot more fun. <laughs> it will. It will. And so maybe for some of you watching this video, you're thinking, man, this is like foreign to me because maybe you didn't see this in your in your parents that maybe they didn't model this kind of thing. In fact, this is the principle for the, for the, the third principle, which is about communication. Like you have to communicate so that you can continue to build trust up. We'll talk more about that. Right next time. But before we get to that and before we end this video, Tracy, just say one thing about the difference between trust and forgiveness because forgiveness comes up when we talk about trust yes. all the time. Yeah, this is important and this can be hard, but forgiveness is something that's proactive. That means you would choose to extend forgiveness regardless of mm -hmm. what your spouse is doing. Mm -hmm. And if you can't be forgiving when they mess up, then it kind of stops forward movement in mm -hmm. the relationship. If you can't forgive so your spouse can say, okay, now how can I earn your trust back? You kind of get stuck. Mm -hmm. So forgiveness is very different than trust because as we said, trust is a reactive thing. You're gonna look at what you're seeing and then you're gonna say, is that something I can trust or not? But forgiveness is something that's like a gift. Right. You give it, you're expecting nothing in return, but that forgiveness is key to moving forward when trust has been broken. Right. So remember two different things. We've got more uh, content mm -hmm. on forgiveness if you want to see that in the library, but that's enough for our conversation. Remember the whole point here is that you would have a conversation with your spouse or with your marriage mentoring couple. So use the questions below. Talk about this, this principle of trust being earned, not just freely given out. And then we'll see you in the next video, the third principle, which is all about communication.